Hello everyone. It's great to be back with another new video for you today. This will allow you to connect with your true self while also having fun. Sit back and take in all of this wonderfulness. You all think that when you sit to meditate, the source is going to write a book through you that's going to change the world. Well, okay, maybe. It could happen. <laughs> it could happen. But don't you have other things also that you want to receive about? Yes. Like everything? Yeah. And so why does it always have to go to, oh yeah, I sat and meditated and now I'm writing a book. Why can't it be, I meditated and I got a thought and I followed it through and a wonderful thing happened. And I meditated and I got a thought and I followed it through and something else. Why can't it be, Source is guiding me in what feels like a magic carpet ride to the fulfillment of my existence. In other words, to the fulfillment of my beingness. You get what we're getting at. Let your alignment keep you joyful. There isn't anything more important than that you feel good and that you be happy because this world is going to keep going on. It's set up perfectly. There's always going to be contrast and there's always going to be those like you who are always going to be asking for more. So you're always going to be launching more into this vortex. And so evolution and expansion is going to continue to be. The evolution of all species is about this. And there will always be source answering that. And there will always be new children who receive and the beasts of your planet who receive. And some of you who deliberately receive. In other words, it's always going to be okay. Do we make you sound like you are puppets on a string? You are not. Because you're running the show. You came. You're the leading edge. You're in the contrast. You're making the decisions. Can you feel the difference between... You're thinking of a thought, step one, and you're receiving of a thought, step three. We'll wait until you figure that out. Can you feel the difference? Well, this is a new thought for you, isn't it? When you're exploring contrast, you're thinking about it. You're evaluating it. You're measuring it. You're comparing it. You're choosing from one thing and another. In other words, you're contemplating it. Your thinking mechanism is really involved when you're in that contrasting mode. But once you've launched that rocket, and once Source has hold of it, don't you think it would be a good idea for you to listen in to see what Source thinks about it? And to see what resources have been gathered up for you, a steady stream of them. So it's like Source says, all right, we've got a bead on what you want, and you can keep exploring life, and you can keep amending your desire, and we'll keep feeding to you impulses and suggestions about how you might enjoy the evolution of this desire the most. Not how you can get to it the fastest, not how you can justify your existence by getting rid of this problem, how you can enjoy the unfolding of this desire the most. Let's pretend that it took you five years of contrast to ask for something. And now you've asked, and now you want it to manifest all of a sudden. No. You want it to manifest slowly and continue to surprise and delight you with every stage of its evolution. You want to feel in on it, don't you? Yeah. You are too impatient to really understand what we're getting at here. Really, to be fair, until you've meditated every day for a while, we're talking maybe 30 days, might be sooner, but maybe 30 days, so that you really know that you're in the receiving mode and you receive a thought that's so compelling that you just can't not follow it. And then it leads to something and leads to something and leads to something and the pleasure just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. And you are actually a conscious witness to the unfolding of the thought that you know you received because of meditation. Until that happens to you, this is just a theory that you could forget about tomorrow. But once you actually begin meditating deliberately and are acknowledging even during meditation, ah, oh, this must be the receiving mode because I am chilled. And then an impulse or a thought comes and you know for sure you know for sure that you received it. And then 
the impulse is strong enough because you've been in a state of non-resistance so that the impetus, the momentum of the thought of source has enough momentum going that your impulse to act on it is strong enough and you do and you witness the result of that successful receiving mode that successful download of important information from broader perspective who knows about you and loves you so much once you start doing that then you'll say the magic is back in my life then you'll say I'm invincible then you'll say bring it on contrast because I just love having a new thought because all you're gonna do is put it over there in the vortex machine and the vortex machine will attract all the cooperative components and when it's ready for me source will tell me and I'll be ready for source to tell me because I'm ready every day for source to tell me humans have this habit we love you very much of not wanting to feel the success of something until it manifests it's like show me the money then I'll be glad show me my lover and then I'll be glad show me the evidence of good things and then I'll be happy so most people stand outside the vortex most of the time and let what's happening in their experience dictate where their vibration is so you let reality train your vibration now we want to say reality is magnificent the reality that you live because it is the bouncing off place it's what's putting all of this expansion over there but you all are so over excited about perusing and documenting and discussing reality that you hold yourself for inordinate amounts of time in vibrational concert with from our perspective what was instead of with what is and the emotion that you feel is because you're not up to speed with who you are who you are who you are with what is with what is with what is when you ask for money that money is and when you keep bemoaning the fact that you don't have it in your bank account you deprive yourself of the vibrational alignment with the money that is and you don't let it manifest and it would manifest it would manifest fast if you'd stop doing that thing you're doing that is keeping you from the discovery of the path to the manifestation of the very thing that you're asking for that was as clear as we've ever said it did you get it <laughs> you are the creator of your reality but even more pointedly you are the creator of you and the you that is in this vortex now this is where it gets fun because as we talk about this you you want to talk about the you that you can see you look around at each other and you say hey you hey you hey you hey you and we say no, 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 no. You, you 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 it's this you it's this you it's this you that we want you to look at that you is old news that you is the creator of this you but this you in the vortex is who you really are and the reason that it's so important for you to know it is because this is who you really are and this is dominantly how you really feel and if you 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 in your physical body you don't let yourself be up to speed with who you really are you then you feel the discord of that resistance and then you don't let yourself be you and then you don't feel good this will make a really good audio won't it a really good <laughs> audio tape well at least those listening in won't see us pointing at the floor <laughs> so you get that don't you what is a feeling of satisfaction satisfaction is life causes me and my physical body to expand and I felt the discord of the expansion briefly but because I care about feeling good I've trained myself to follow the trail of good feeling thoughts so I reach more optimistically I reach more hopefully I tell better feeling stories and I have trained myself into positive expectations so I'm following the trail of the new idea and so I feel satisfied because I'm moving in the direction of who I am and as I do that the vortex this powerful law of attraction vortex is calling all cooperative components and because I'm optimistic and hopeful I'm a pretty cooperative component and so I'm being pulled in the direction of it by this powerful law of attraction and I'm feeling the satisfaction satisfaction 
is the opposite of resistance. The feeling of satisfaction is like anti-frustration. It's like evidence of going in the direction of who I am while frustration is evidence of holding back and not going. So satisfaction is the feeling that I'm on the right track. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and share it with someone who could use some motivation. God bless you all and we wish you a pleasant day.